Hey guys, let's wake up your holiday party this year with peppermint rum chata. Smooth, creamy, tasty, and delicious. This drink has a mixture of Caribbean rum, peppermint, dairy cream, cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Jackie. Welcome. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. If you have not, please subscribe. Don't go nowhere. You don't want to miss this recipe. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Jackie Cooks here. I just wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. For those of you who don't know, this is my beautiful daughter, smart, funny, gorgeous, Erin. Say hi, Erin. Hey. Erin is a phenomenal cook and she helps me so much. She helps me with food preparation. She helps me with lighting, she helps me with setup, she helps me with res recipes. I mean, so many ways she has helped me. She is a very beautiful daughter and I really appreciate her assistance. Today, we're going to be sharing with you how to make the most delicious party drink you've ever tasted in your life called Peppermint Rum Chata. <coughs> this drink will bring excitement to any holiday. The taste is incredible. So good. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, girl, it was good. Now, let me tell y'all, okay? The reason we started making peppermint rum chata in our house is because every year around Christmas, we have the issue of who's drinking eggnog and who's not. So, for those of you who do not drink eggnog, you do have options, and we are here to help you. Yes, yes. This drink is smooth with layers of flavor, wrapped within a truly exotic and unique taste. Since things were so good, let me go ahead and wash my hands and get started for the party. That's right. One of the most important things we could do in preparation for any recipe is wash our hands. Okay, let's get started. We're going to open about 40 peppermints. Peppermint adds delicious flavor to anything. Cakes, cookies, pies, brownies. I just love peppermint. Yes, I do. You can put peppermint in your coffee, peppermint in your lemonade, peppermint in your hot chocolate, peppermint in your cocoa. I mean, peppermint goes with anything. The taste is so good. No comparison. Did you hear that peppermint patty and Mr. Goodbar was messing around? And then they had baby Ruth. <laughs> If you don't want to go through this step right here, they do sell the mints already crushed, but I prefer to crush my own mints because the crushed ones are very hard to find. I'm going to show you a very easy way to crush these peppermints without making a mess. If you put the peppermints in the freezer for about 30 minutes, it makes them easy to crush. You want to make sure you use two bags when you smash the uh, peppermints so that they won't stick to the towel. We don't want that. Okay, what the towel does is muffle the sound and also protects the mints from going all over the place. Make sure you don't hit your fingers when you smash in the peppermints. Be careful! Ouch! That would really hurt. After you get the peppermints crushed up to your desired chunkiness, you want to put them in a sieve to separate the dust from the chunks. Don't be nervous about this part because the choice is always yours. At this time, we're going to dip our rimmed glass with chocolate into the dust just pat it pat 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 <laughs> at this time we're going to use the vanilla we don't want to rub it because it's going to rub the rim white chocolate off now when you dip the rim of the glass into the white chocolate you could make it as thick as you want or as thin as you want isn't that beautiful look like santa's hat <laughs> You can play around with it and make it the design that you like. I had so much fun making this, decorating these glasses. I sure hope you guys enjoy this video because I had so much fun making it for you. But the rum chata glasses are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, guys? Now, you can use any kind of chocolate you prefer. You can use bacon chocolate or the chocolate morsels. I just melted them in the microwave. I melted the white chocolate in the microwave. I melted the uh, milk chocolate in the microwave and it worked just absolutely fine. Pretty. I had a ball. I got my rum chata already stocked up, chilled and ready to go. Let's just grab one 
and we're gonna go ahead and take that top off oh yes you guys got to try this recipe Ooh, the smell it smells so good I'm in heaven right now we're gonna go ahead and pour that in our pitcher you know they also have chata hot chocolate rum chata coffee rum chata cappuccino martini pumpkin pie martina chati cinnamon toast chata rum chata on the rocks any way you like rum chata there is a recipe for your taste we're going to go ahead and drop our peppermints in our rum chata so they could go swimming hope none of them drown do you have a holiday party coming up you having a great drink to serve to your guests to get everyone into the holiday spirit this is an absolute perfect drink for your guests they will love it now don't forget while you've got your peppermint rum chata sitting in the fridge and you waiting on it for that hour, you want to go in, check on it at least two or three times, go back, stir it up real good. Two reasons. You don't want the mints to stick to the bottom of the pitcher. Right. And number two, you want to make sure that the peppermint flavor is evenly distributed in your That's drink. Right. And not That's just right. at the bottom. That's right. This peppermint rum chata is simple to make, it's festive, and it's absolute the star of every Christmas party, holiday party. And anytime you do a peppermint cocktail, it's something that you could do in advance to your party. After you make this drink and serve it to your guests, they will love you. And let's not forget the children. You could also make a non-alcoholic version for the kids and they will love you. I hope you enjoyed this video because we had so much fun making it. Please do not forget to comment, rate, subscribe, talk to me. Let me know if you enjoyed my beautiful daughter, Erin. If you want to see Erin again, let me know in the comments. We want to see Erin back. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to share your drinks. Yee! And let me know how bad y'all want me to come back. <laughs>